This video will go over how to set up your menu. The first step is to log into the back end control panel. From here, click on the menu tab. You will see six different tabs once, you've, once you're in here. Menu items, optional modifiers, force modifiers, modifier groups, supergroups, and happy hours. In the first tab, menu items, you'll notice there's a menu group section. In here, you can add, edit, or remove the menu groups as needed. To add a new group, click in the Add New Group section and type in the group name. Once you've done that, click Enter. It'll add the new group. To delete groups, you click the Delete button. It'll ask if you're sure you want to delete this group. Click OK to delete. You can rename the groups as needed, and you can move them up and down in the order of appearance that you wish. So if you want breakfast to go first, click the up arrow. And it'll go above lunch. Once you've made your menu groups, you can then modify them. So I'm going to go into my breakfast menu group. To add a category in the menu group, click Add Category at the bottom of the page. We'll call this one New Category. Once you've gave, given the category a name, we can then start adding our items in the category. You can have as many categories in each menu group as needed, and you can have as many items in each category as you need. So for example, I've named this one Omelets and Eggs, and I've given my items their names, Ham and Cheese Omelet. The next step is then to, to then add the price of the item. So my Ham and Cheese Omelet is $8. Once you've added the price, you'll then need to start adding your optional and force modifiers to your menu items or category. On a category level, you can then select it from the drop down here. You'll need to create your optional and your force modifiers before you have them in the drop down. Once you've created them, they will be in the drop down and then you can select them here. I don't need anything for my omelets and eggs, but for my waffles and pancakes, I need my pancake and waffle toppings for my optional modifier. For the force modifier, you need to create those as well first and they'll be in this drop down. For my omelets and eggs, I want the group breakfast modifiers to be applied to the entire category. If you apply something on the item level, it will override the category level. So I have my deluxe breakfast, and I want it to go to the group deluxe breakfast force modifier. So by applying this, it does override the group breakfast plates. The next step is to set what printer you want this category to print to. You'll need to create your printers first through the settings, and then they'll be in this drop down here. So I want this one to print to the Distro Training Kitchen. The next step is to apply any ingredients that will come out of the, the inventory every time this, om or this item is sold. So I know that every time the ham and cheese omelet is sold, six ingredients will come out of my inventory. To apply the ingredients, click the ingredients button, and we can see here that three eggs, two and a half ounces of Colby Jack cheese, four slices of ham, two slices of white bread, six ounces of hash browns, and two ounces of onions will come out of my inventory. You can have as many items as you want come out of the inventory as, as needed. You'll need to set up your inventory first, and then all the items that you create will be in this drop down. You can then add them to the item. The next step is the item or the category picture. This category will be on the bottom of the iPad under the category picture. They do have to be in a JPEG format, and you'll need to either make your own pictures or you can find them on the internet. The next option is the item picture for the menu item. This, uh, this picture will be able to be blown up on the iPad so the customer can see exactly what they're eating. These also have to be in a JPEG format. You'll need to find your own picture or you can find them on the internet. To get rid of any categories or items that you have, you can click the gray X. It'll put it in a queue to delete. Once you've made any changes back here, you'll need to go ahead and click the save button. And then on the front end, reload your settings to ensure that all the changes that you've made have taken place.